Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. During the month of October, the Bay County Public Library will be celebrating STEM with our Dancing Ghost Take and Make Craft Kits. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own floaty ghosts with your October Craft Kit. So let's get started. Don't let the ghosts and the ghouls disturb you. Pick up your craft kit from the Bay County Public Library, available while supplies last. Inside the kit, make sure you have two balloons and two coffee filters. You'll also need some scissors, some tape, and a sharpie. Start off by drawing your ghost onto your coffee filter. Make sure not to draw them too big and to use the pleated edge at the bottom of the coffee filter to serve as the bottom of the ghost. When your drawing is complete, cut out your ghost with scissors. Take your cutout ghost and tape their bottom to whatever table or surface you're working on. Now grab a balloon. I went and got a big one for demonstration purposes. Rub the balloon on your head or on your cotton clothes. Right now, the rubber in your balloon is attracting a bunch of extra electrons from your hair and clothes. The electrons have a negative charge, and when they build up, you can use the balloon to attract things that have a positive charge, like paper or ghosts. Now, lower the side of your balloon that you charged up to your ghost and, like magic, or I guess like science, the ghost will rise up and float toward the balloon. Try it with a bunch of different sized ghosts and multiple balloons as an experiment. Which ghosts fly higher, big ones or small ones? And how long does the negative charge reaction last? Let us know on Facebook. And that is how you do your dancing ghost experiment and learn a little bit about positive and negative charges. For more STEM crafts and tips, subscribe to the library's YouTube channel. It's a great way to support your library and it notifies you when we release more Halloween-centered content this month in October. So until next time, this was Kyle at the Bay County Public Library, and I'll see you next video. Bye.